Well, let's uh, continue tuning. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. So, I'm going to make my best attempt to finish this today. So here's the thing. In my time off stream... Ignoring the sick thing right now. In my time off stream, I... I've been trying to figure out... This... This thing, you know? Where it points you that, to that specific spot. And there's a message. Now... I have spent a couple of hours on this. And... Here's the thing, I'll summarize it. It requires pretty much deciphering the language to the point where you understand how to read it. Now... I gave it a go, and it's just one of these things that I is, I think is just beyond what I can do. So, at first I, I tried to, I tried many different things. I thought, oh, maybe like each of these represent a letter, or maybe like, you see how there's a little picture of the fox? Maybe those three things form the word fox. It wasn't any of that. I, I really did try, but... I think for this one specifically, I'm going to bow out and say it's it's too hard. It's one of these things that 1% of the player base is going to be able to do properly. Because it involves deciphering a language and using a cipher and just figuring it out. Something that I, I guess I'm just straight up not good at. And, you know, I enjoy this game. It's good. And it's cool that there's something to this level of attention to detail, but this is definitely something that's not for me. And I would rather not hit my head against the brick wall over and over again. In fact, um, just, I even looked up some clues, just, I was like, alright, some soft nudges in the direction. And for this one, basically, there is no soft nudge. It's like, if you're not into deciphering languages, you're just not going to get it. There's whole articles written on how to decipher this language. So, like, I'll, I'll bring up an example. And tunic language. Um, I think it was this thing. Yeah. It's just it's kind of absolute insanity. So, if you don't want to get spoiled on this, I recommend turning away for the next 30 seconds. But, like... As soon as I saw this, I was like, no, this is not for me. So, you know, this is off Reddit. Um, but it involves deciphering the language and breaking it down into an alphabet. And even the alphabet is not simple. And it's just... It's something that would take me several hours to do. And even then, I, it, I just, it's not me. I, I can't do this stuff. So, I'm going to bow out of finding that one specifically because it involves deciphering the language in its entirety or at least to the point where you can read it so there is another treasure i can work on um and i think that's probably as far as i'm gonna take it um i could just look up the answer but you know what i'm okay with it being i didn't figure that one out it's fine so um I think there's one treasure. Let me go back to the treasure room. But yeah, I hope you understand. Like, I did make my best attempts. But the moment it became this thing where it's just a kind of puzzle that is beyond my capabilities, I, I kind of decided not to do it and just gracefully bow out of finding that one. Um... Yeah, so there's one more. I'll look for the last one. Um, I'll go through. Because that, that's pretty much where I stopped. I, I spent almost two hours trying to... Just find some sort of logic to this thing. Uh, simple logic, mind you. To try and decipher the language, but it's not. It's a really, really complicated process that... 1% of the player base is going to be able to do on their own. So, uh, yeah, I'm leaving that. So now, with that in mind, there's one more treasure to be found outside of that really annoying one. Um, 
And I guess I'm just going to look through the book now and see what loose threads there are and we'll try and find that other treasure and then I'll move towards finishing the game. Alright. So let's see. Yeah, it's, it's really full on. That they've made up a whole language. And I guess for those extreme puzzle solvers, this is like right up their alley. I'm proud that I've gotten as far as I have in terms of the cryptic stuff, but yeah, the language deciphering thing is just not something I, I want to do. Well, I would like to do it, I'm just not capable of it. That's the simple truth. Okay. Mm, don't see anything that so far. Like I'm looking for diagrams or notes or something that I may have missed. I mean, I doubt it'd be on these pages. Usually it's... It's on the map pages. So one thing I did notice is this page in particular has those dot diagrams, but I think it's kind of... This one would be like when I drew the flask and it gave me like a bonus use of the flask. I think this would give me a bonus use of bombs or something. It would, it would appear that way anyway. Um, I mean, I think I've found most of these. Hmm. This could be something. It may be requiring me to use those three specifically. Keep an eye on that. A crab at the run atoll, but yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, I did get a bonus treasure at the run atoll already, so what else? The number twenty-two. That one, I'm not sure of. Uh, I'm looking very carefully. I did get that question mark. The cave was acquired. I'm pretty sure I visited all those caves. Uh, there was a fairy there. Got that. That led to the cross, the crossroad at the bell tower. So that's fine. Yeah, like, that's the thing, I'm, I'm pretty... Pretty sure that once this treasure is, well, outside of the one that I'm not gonna do. I can't think of anything else I would wanna look into. So this might be a very short VOD, I don't know, we'll see. Just wanna spend the time looking and seeing if anything stands out. There's a few areas where I'm pretty confident I'm safe in there being nothing. Like here. I mean, the 
forest just had. Sometimes they have drawings on it. I need to be careful not to skip stuff that has drawings. The other thing that's outstanding is that diagram that has all those page numbers. I should probably follow that thread. It shouldn't be too hard. I have all the pages loaded in my graphics editor so I can, I guess, have a some form of correlation between them. Let's see. It's a broken fan down there. I mean windmill. Frog's domain is another area that I doubt there's, there's anything remaining here. Like this area is really straightforward. Okay. Nothing there. I mean, that's just the elevator there. Sorry, this, this might be like a bit of a slow start. But I focus all my energy on trying to make sense of that language. And yeah, it was just, it's too much for me. There's... Hmm. Gravestone markers on both. I don't know if there's any significance to that. Might just be coincidence. I think that's just pointing out the pillar. Okay. What about here? This, I think we're good. This was just finding room 8, and I found room 8 out. This is just frame of reference. What does gold health mean? Or something that's gold? Hmm. Uh... I guess that's the other thing is I need to take the manual to someone. But I guess that probably won't happen if I don't have all the treasures. Okay, well, let's just start at this one. So... What I'm going to do, I'm going to start a new page, and I'm going to get all these pages on one page, and then we'll see if there's anything to be acquired from them. Uh, give me a sec. This might take a minute. Okay. A uh, new page... Just call this Pages Solution. We'll see what we get from this. Okay, uh, so it's asking page 44. Should probably take this separately, hold on. Uh, okay. So let me get the little square. You won't be able to see what I'm doing in my graphics editor just yet. I just want to set up. Uh, f what? 41, sorry. 41. Is it 41 or 44? What is that? I can't tell if that's 41 or 44. It looks like 44. Or 
Or is that four dash? Ugh. Why does it have to be written so obscurely? Okay, um, let's just do the ones I know. 32, 34. Um, like maybe I don't need to know all of them. 32 and 34. Okay. I'm just copying these. Okay. Then we need 11. I guess I can do it, do this, so we're not just sitting in the blank screen here. Okay, hold on. Uh, page 11. That's 11. Then 28 and 34. Twenty-eight, thirty-four. Just arranging it like it's asking me to. Okay, twenty-eight and thirty-four. Forty-eight, fifty-three. That's 53, and that's 48. Okay. 39, 51, and then 1. Okay, 39... 39, 51, and I haven't screenshot page one, but that's fine. Page one is like the invisible ink thing, so I know what it is. Okay. 53, 40, 28. 50, 40, 28 again. It repeats a page, okay. And I guess, how do you interpret this first one? Is, is that 4-1 or 41? It's 41. Okay, page 41. Okay. All right, so this is the full thing now. Kind of. All right. So... What are these pages pointing out? I looked at the first two pages, and from what I ascertained, this has a symbol. This has a symbol. Let's look at 34.
That one doesn't have a symbol standing out. Why not? Unless maybe this is it, but that's just a combination of north, south, east, and west. What about here? Alright, this one has this one highlighted in red. I hope this isn't one where it's like deciphering the whole language again. Like maybe maybe this is another one I can't do. But for now, let's just look. 28 and 11, 28 and 34. 28 and 34. Why would it point out two pages? Hmm. This is weird, it's just pointing the memo page. There's a D-pad here. And then it's just pointing out the swamp. This was the one that was tied to page one. Again, it's just this one. There's a symbol there. And then the overworld map again. What is special about this arrangement? Uh... Hold on, just for completion's sake, give me a sec. Let me go get page one. Just so I can look at the full picture. Uh, I gotta swap back. That's a full picture now, right? No, wait, 51. Goes with page 51. Alright, so it's here. Why would it point out 53 twice? The only thing I can see on, on 53 is like it has a D-pad, but that... Like if this was a combination, it wouldn't point out the D-pad. Okay, maybe the, the answer to this is... Figure out why these two pages are pointing out... Well, this page is pointed out twice. And why this one has two pages. And the other one has two pages. So what's so special about this? Hmm... I thought it was a symbols thing initially, but not all of them have symbols that are standing out. Like this one's just a memo page. The only thing... Huh. Hold on. This one is a treasure location. These are both treasure locations. Okay. Is this pointing out the wind chime thing? Because it's this map and then this map. And the correlation they have is this. What would this one be pointing out? Well, this one, there's a, there's a treasure here. What about this one? The leaves. This one has... These are the treasure locations. Alright, I figured it out. 
This tells you how to get each treasure. This formation is the treasure room. Um, if I go to this room and this treasure is missing, let's see which treasures are missing. And then if, if that works in game, then that's what this is. Okay, hold on. Oh, we're here already. Right, so... One, two, three, four from the right. And for all from, from from the left, convenient. Okay. Um one sec. Four from the right and four from the left. Okay. Page eleven and page fifty one to one. Fifty one to one is this is the invisible ink thing. Which I'm not going to do. So then the other treasure is page 11. Okay. So somewhere on this page it's revealing. Okay, let's go to this location. Let's start there. That's at the start of the game. This has to be it. I can't see what else that would be. Now let me... May as well. This is it, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is where it is. Okay, so this is the in-game location. Now let's look at this again. One sec. There's a chest here. Prize slash treasure, but there's no treasure in-game. Okay. Um, This is a golden path. Right down, right up, right down, right up, right down, right up, right down, right down, right up, right down. Okay. Right down, right up, right down. Okay. Right down, right up, right down. Nothing. Um, what's the inverse of that? Hold up. The inverse is up, left, down, left, up, left. Up, left, down, left, up, left. Up, left, down, left, up, left. Nothing. Okay, what else is here? Uh, there's an enemy pointed out. Questions, focus preview, just stamina notes. There's dots here. Okay. Start point. Okay, so, just a sec, uh, let me, I need an hour, <laughs> too lazy to draw them out again, um, okay, so, uh, right, down left 
up left left down right right down down okay assuming i write this out correctly all right let me try it i just need to get it on my screen so i can read it okay Right, down, left, up, left, left, down, right, right, down, down. Okay. Um, let me just close my notes, because I guess that's the, that's the last treasure. That I'm going to look for. Because the other one, like I said, it involves deciphering the language completely, and it's just, um, it's outside of my skill set. And I tried for a couple hours today, I just could not get anywhere with it, so... I'm good. I'm, I'm happy to bow out on that one. I'm proud that I got everything except that one. That one's just too hard for me. And that's one of these things that pretty much only 1% of the player base is going to be able to do. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to do everything in a game sometimes. It's like those fights in Hollow Knight, where you have to do very difficult bosses and not take a single hit. No, but I got nothing to prove there. I'm good. I tried. I tried those fights and just not up to my skill level. And it's the same here. Okay. I could just look up the answer, but I, th I think it's fine. I'm happy to not do that. Kind of a shame that they locked one treasure behind such a a very difficult method. Given the others, they're not too bad. I, I got there with pretty much all of them eventually. It's just this one, yeah. I, I guess you have to be on that level, you know. Okay, well, now it's just a matter of It said share your knowledge with someone. I guess that's the next thing I have to figure out. Who that means. Well, the only time there's people... is pretty much at night time, so let's just... Make it night time. Guess all I can do is talk to people and see what happens. Yeah, cool. I mean, if I was to take a guess, it'd probably be someone at the temple, because some of these, they feel... I wouldn't say inconsequential, but I doubt it'd be a major thing.
There is the whole thing of those areas that I can't get to. And it's night time, but I don't know if it has any relevance. I wonder if this is just like a, a metaphorical thing. Like, not literally show someone, but like... Instead of... Okay, what I'm thinking of is the fight in Symphony of the Night, like Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Where if you go face Richter without finding... Well, it's the rings. The two ring combination. Then you fight Richter, you kill him, that's the bad ending. But then, if you have the two rings, you go to the last fight and then something different happens. If I can't find who to talk to, I'm gonna just try going to the last fight. Because it could just be one of those situations. I don't think there's anyone else to talk to further up. Swamp, question mark. I mean, nothing... ...so far. Have I been in here at night? I'm not sure I have. Hang on. Hmm. Nothing. I think that spot's empty anyway. I get the feeling that, well, let's see. Once I exhaust everyone to talk to. I got the feeling I'm, I'm leaning to <laughs> I just just go to the last fight. Because, uh, I mean, unless it's another one where it's like, nah, unless you decipher the whole language, you're not going to get the real ending. I'd be a little let down if that were the case. Well, I don't remember there being any foxes in, in that area. Alright, all that remains is the temple, I guess. Which I haven't been in since... Okay. Something bad. Still. Fourth key. Siege engine. Hero four. 
Alright, I mean, let's just see out worst I die. different. I guess final fight. Let's see. Ah, oh, you sure? Okay. Well, I mean, I was kind of right. This is the Castlevania thing. Wait. Oh. It's reading the story about itself. Wait, that's it? <laughs> There's no final fight? Oh. Oh, okay. Alright, um... Cool, I, I guess that's Tunic. <laughs> um... That's... Cute, but... No fight. I like these visuals. Okay, um... I imagine that's what it was the whole time. Because it's said to show the manual, so... I guess this is the good ending. Because the only thing I didn't find was the treasure, but... Okay, whatever. It's fine. Alright, well, this is as far as I'm going to take this game because, as I said earlier, the last treasure is locked behind me deciphering an alien language and figuring out how the language works from a written perspective. And it's something that I tried and was hoping would be relatively straightforward. It is... I'm sure once you understand that and get a full explanation, it might be a bit easier, but it is very, very involved, and it is more time than I want to put in just to get one treasure. It's one of these things that they put in the game for those extra dedicated players, and it's like 1% of the player base is going to get this on their own without looking it up, so. I think I'm good. I'm happy to bow out with the knowledge that I... Solved every single puzzle except one, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> but this game is great. Um, I mean, I guess in the later part of it, it became just problem solving. There was hardly any combat, but you can make what you want out of this game, I guess. You can 
probably go for the under ending, which I assume isn't as good as this one, and finish the game there, or you just do the whole puzzle thing and get as far as here, maybe further. Who knows what that other room had, but I, I can't imagine it's like a third ending. I think it's just a neat little bonus for those that do get to figure out the language on their own. But yeah, very nice aesthetic, very nice soundtrack. It's a fun, fun game. I do recommend it. Um, probably a good one to ease people into playing Souls type games, because it's not too bad. I think it had a good difficulty curve overall. Yeah, this was a good one. Just, I wish my computer was a bit better in handling it. I had to, uh, I had to stop the 1440p thing because it was just, it was just struggling a little. New Game Plus, carry most items over. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm okay. So, you know, it puts you back here, I guess. I imagine things just do more damage. Um, and I guess having the knowledge you have, you can probably get further. Because you don't have to wait for certain things as you know how to do them. Um, but I'm alright. Okay, well, this is going to do, do it for the end of uh, the Tunic playthrough. This VOD is going to be a bit shorter than the others, but I guess you can see why. I, I resolved it in the end. Just one, one puzzle that I didn't, just out of choice, so... Very fun game, and yeah. It might be something I play through again in the future. Maybe I'll do the the problem and just uh, look it up to see what that content is. But for now, uh, yeah, thanks for reaching this far into the video if you've uh, watched later on YouTube. And if you did enjoy the playthrough of this one, uh, be sure to click buttons, particularly those with the thumbs up thingy on them. Um, it appeases YouTube's algorithm and helps the channel out a lot. So thank you to those that do do that. Uh, it really does help out a lot. And if you want to watch me play something else, I'm sure two other videos have popped up on your screen by now. So hopefully you do check them out. But yeah, this was Tunic. I enjoyed it a lot. And uh, yeah, bye YouTube. I'll see you next time.